Welcome to this ninth video tutorial. In the last video, we made the part where we uh, were typing uh, the keys by blinking our eyes. There was one problem where we had eyes closed like this. Some letter was I was pressing some letter, but I didn't know when the letter was pressed because I had eyes closed and I couldn't see my screen. A solution to solve this problem is to use some audio. So when the letter is pressed, then the audio will tell us that it's pressed. And that's what we are going to work on today. So we're going to add some audio to the script. And I created three audios. One is this sound. Let's run it. One more time. This one that I created myself, it's, uh, we're going to use it when we press the key, then as we are going to have two keyboards, one when we look at the left, we select one part, when we look on the other side, we select the other part I have left, right, left, right. We're going to implement also these two ones. Uh, so let's get into the code and let's see. I will switch off the camera Somehow Okay Let's close this stuff uh, First thing we need to import some new module for For the audio which is called PyGlad and let's first ter test it here. We go on settings, uh, on file settings, then project, um, in case OpenCV YouTube, and then project interpreter. And then we can install the new module, which is called PyGlet. It's the first one. And then you click on install package. I don't have to, as I already have it. And once we have this, let's first work with an empty file and we will test it. You import pyglet. We also import time. Uh, let's first load the sound. The first sound when we press the key. Sound equals to pyglet.media.load. And the sound is sound.wav. And you can unload this and the next sounds from the link in the description. And let's test this one, sound.play. And also we need, uh, we need to make time.sleep because if I start the code, when it's starting to play in the sounds, the code we finish running and we will not hear anything. So let's put time.sleep of one second because it's enough, it's a really short sound, sleep, okay. We run and we see that it's working correctly. And also we have two more sounds. One is left sound equals to pyglet.media.load left.wav wav wav I don't know how to pronounce it and right sound equals pyglet again dot media dot load and then right dot wav and for each sound, we of course need to run the play function. So let's give one second for each one. Left sound dot play. One second of sleep. Right sound dot play. And finally, one more second of sleep. Let's run this one. Left, right. We know now that uh, how to run the sounds. Once we know this, we can go on on the script. Uh, first, let's correct something because as we run, uh, we need to run the sound many times on the script. We need to know that left sound, for example, let's run it twice. Uh, we get an error. Uh, I I don't know much uh, about this uh, module Pyglet, but I know that 
you can run a streaming only once so we need to pass also this streaming false to each one so that we can use the same sound many times streaming false and then also this one streaming equals to false left right anyway now we can move to the main script and let's do this uh, we, we, co we copy just these uh, three sounds at the beginning the main let's uh, before even the ca cap let's uh, load sounds we load here all the sounds first sound left and right and then we of course need to import pyglet and let's also import the time module we might need it later on we import time time and then we need to find on the code the part where we are typing the letter and that part we uh, start the sound let's go below anyway and I can close this once to make it the script look shorter I can close all the functions okay and this last one now we are on the while loop and here we have where we use we type the letter typing letter and uh, this is the part where we want to start the sound so it will be the sound dot play and then let's let's stop it I guess so let's make time time dot sleep one second and now we can test the script and we'll see what the result we get. Uh, this one, this my, ah, okay, in the board. Okay, let's just select some letter, let's say D. There is the sound, uh, I didn't make it on time to select the D close again okay the sound seems to be working fine oh let's start again and let's uh, see if I can select the letter that I want on purpose and because we might need to fix this uh, timing I'm, I want just to see and uh, we're not going to fix it now but let's see at least W now too late T I'm always late let's say the letter B Okay, letter T. Letter F. Okay, it seems quite reliable. Uh, as you can see on the, the screen board, uh, as we are going to work right now on the audio, let's work on the part where we want to select the uh, left or right keyboard. As we're going to have uh, two parts let's going to work on that one I'm going to remove the comment for from this part if gaze ratio is less or equals one we have right center and left at the beginning my idea was to divide the keyboard in three parts that's why I, I have right center and left but I realized it wasn't too reliable and it was a bit tough to detect in a proper way uh, right center and left so I finally decided to use only two parts and we are going to use right and left 
so in this case we can remove center and it was this way ah, I forgot also to show this new frame because we were drawing everything on the new frame so I'm going to stop it and let's uh, run it again showing the new frame and this was the one that was uh, selecting the, the side we don't want this uh, anymore we just want to use the audio ah, I accidentally I pressed some key anyway we're going to delete the new frame and also here instead of using right we want to play the sound right so we have right sound dot play and then time dot sleep one and also in the other part it will be left sound dot play and time dot sleep equals to one and also I was working with the ratio before I was checking in the, uh, the ratio in the middle is 0 0.9 so let's already correct this one if it's less it means we're going to look on the right side if it's more than this we are looking at the left side and let's let's test it right now left 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 right 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 left 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 right right it seems right. quite reliable when left. I look on the right side right it says left left uh, right, right. otherwise uh, left. left left there is one problem left each time left left it keeps repeating right. once we are already left. on the left there is left no right. point to repeat left. it again right so we need right. we need to create some right. switch left that tells left. us which side we are left. looking at each left. time left so not to repeat it right. anymore let's then go uh, on the counters we say key keyboard selected selected mm. we can say zero for the left and one for the right for example and keyboard selected so let's go now on the sound let's say that the keyboard selected if it's zero it means left if it's one it means right so if keyboard selected is equals to one wait uh, if it's equals to one I said it was right so there is no point to repeat it again Uh, let's uh, I'm going to pause for a moment the video uh, because I, I have to think about this uh, okay I think I figured this out let's do it um, slow slowly so that it's easier to understand let's remove this part and let's go back to this state if we're going if we're looking at the right let's say keyboard selected equals to right if we're looking at the left keyboard selected is equals to left and also here it doesn't have to be a number let's let's say let's start from left here 
and this is the new keyboard select when we look this is our selection now we need also to know the last the previous selection so that we can compare if the keyboard we had before it's uh, sorry not um, the keyboard if we were looking let's say on the other side before or not last keyboard selection equals to uh, also to left last keyboard selected uh, let's use the same selected equals to left so if keyboard selected is different than last keyboard selected only in that case we play the sound because it means there is there has been some change on our selection if it's the same there is no point to play the sound and this is for the first and we do all the same for the second one for the left side so uh, we look at the right side we select right keyboard if uh, it's different from the last uh, last selection so we play the sound and now after we play the sound we can define what was the last selection so last keyboard selected is equals to to keyboard selected to right so only after we play the sound we can change the value of the last keyboard selected and the same we can do here and we can test if this made the change that we need and I think it should work fine. I didn't test it before. Right. I'm looking at the right and still stays. Let's move to the left. No, it's not. Uh, it's not working somehow. So let's. If key was okay, I found out that in the left side, I put in I'm putting the condition first without selecting anything. That was the mistake. Let's run it again. I start from the left, which is the the first one. Okay, right, left, right, left. I'm looking at the left and we don't hear any sound right uh, after I change the the position of my eyes we can hear the left. sound right left right left right left right left right left we can also make some kind of right. concert with this left right uh, left having different sounds right. with our movement left we can make some concert for right sure. left um, right left I right realized it left uh, right the speed of my left. computer doesn't support right all this work anyway left right we will see in the next videos how to create um, also the second part of the keyboard and how to select the left or right side of the keyboard and type with them see you in the next video